Welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. In this video, let me show you how to hyperlink worksheets within an Excel workbook. In my workbook over here, as you can see, I have many worksheets open. And even if I go ahead and if I drag this bottom horizontal bar, I still can't visualize, I still can't see all of my worksheets because I have so many. So what if there was a way for me to click and navigate to each worksheet at one place without having to find the worksheet that I'm looking for over here. Let me show you how to do that in this video here. So the first worksheet over here I've created is called TOC, Table of Contents, and I'm going to create some functions in this worksheet which will allow me to navigate to each of the subsequent worksheets in my workbook within seconds. So let me show you how to do that. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head into my Formulas tab and into name manager here i'm going to create a new function and so i'm going to click new and the name of this function is going to be i'm going to we can call it anything you want i'm going to call it list uh, work sheets okay and this is going to return the name of all of the worksheets within my workbook so all of these worksheets and the formula i'm going to use is as follows so this is the exact formula you can use as well. I'll paste it down below in the description so you can literally copy this formula and paste it onto your worksheet, onto your uh, uh, pop-up box and it'll work. Okay, so I'll click OK and I've created a formula called list worksheets which will return the name of all of my worksheets in this workbook. And I'm going to use this formula in just a moment here. Okay, just remember the name list worksheets is the name. Um, okay, so back over here now, I'm going to create some numbers over here, just generate some numbers. So I believe I have about 20 to 30 worksheets. So I'm going to come here, one, two, and I'm just going to drag down using flash fill, um, about 26, let's say, okay, I believe I have around 20 to 26. And over here, I'm going to use the function that we just created. So equals to index, first of all, index function. And then after that, I'm going to use the function I just created. So list worksheets, comma, one. Okay, so this is the first one over here. So close brackets. So now when I click enter, it should return TOC because the name of the first worksheet is TOC. So as I draw, as I drag down, it's going to return the names of all of these worksheets. Okay, enter TOC, double click. And as you can see, it respectively returns the name of all of the worksheets that I have within this work within this workbook. Okay, so I can get rid of all of these extras. I can trim these off. Just had those as contingency. Um, now over here, I'm going to create links to each of the respective worksheets. So from this master table of contents worksheet, I can access and navigate to all of my worksheets within this workbook. So coming here into the first one, I'm going to use a hyperlink formula hyperlink and then I'm going to nest it with a concat formula which is concatenate so concat open bracket we're going to start off in double quotes with a hashtag and after that comma and after that the name of the first worksheet okay comma after that double quotes exclamation mark and I'm going to say a1 and the reason I wrote A1 is because hashtag B2 refers to TOC. So it'll take me to this TOC worksheet. But where within that worksheet do I want to place my cursor? I selected A1 because whenever I click a worksheet, I want to go to cell A1 of that worksheet. That's where I want my cursor to be. doesn't really matter. Um, you can uh, select any where your cursor to be. A1 is just um, simple. That's why I chose A1 comma friendly name so what name do i want to display over here uh, for this button for this navigation button button i'll just call it in double quotes go to sheet close double quotes close bracket enter and i'll go ahead and i'll drag this down for all of my sheets so now what i've done is whichever sheet i want to go to i can click on its respective go to sheet and it'll take me to that sheet so misty hollow go to sheet and we're at Misty Hollow. Okay, going back to table of contents, as you can see, last one is Crimson Peaks. I would have to look for it, right? So instead of looking for it, Crimson Peaks, go to sheet, and I'm at that sheet. So imagine if I had 50 to 100 worksheets. 
I wouldn't want to come over here and look for which one I'm looking for, right? So this table of contents can be very helpful if you have many, many, many uh, worksheets within your workbook, okay? So I really hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.